Alrighty guys, hey there, it is Cecilia here and today I want to share with you why you should always, always, always do more than what you're paid for. You want to under promise and over deliver any and every time that you can. And the reason why is because it provide, it shows people that you are valuable and it helps build your reputation as somebody who is an uh, expert and an authority because you deliver more than what was asked for. So let me give you some um, examples of under promise and over deliver. But before I get into that once again my name is Cecilia I go by the tagline I'm your engineer by education home business owner by desire and I have been successfully unemployed for 15 months and counting woo -woo. so with that being the case if you're joining in with me give me your name let me know where you're watching from so that way I can say hello if you have seen me before give me a one if you I'm sorry if you see me before give me a five if it's your first time drop a one um, if you get value from this or any of my videos please like comment and share with those that you you know and if you're watching me on YouTube click subscribe and hit the thing bell so that way you get notified when I post a new video all right so let's talk about why it is so important to always do more than what you're paid for I call it under promise and over deliver and I know many of you have probably heard that before so let me give you some examples of how this can benefit you in the long run I think there's a quote by Zig Ziglar it says something like um, if you do more than what you're paid for eventually you'll be paid for more than you actually do, something like that. All right, so here's my first example. So my yard guy canceled me. I think he's been with me like, geez, 15, 16 years or whatever. Um, but he's changing direction in his life. He's going to be a high school basketball coach. And so he decided that he had to eliminate some of his customers. And the criteria that was used for elimination that I fell into um, was I have a chain in, um, it's not a chain, I have a backyard fence or whatever with the gate, of course, so my dog Pepper doesn't get out. So that was the criteria on how he chose which customers to keep and which ones to drop because when you have a, um, a gated backyard, um, it takes more work because he has to do it with a physical push mower. He can't just go in with his riding mower, zoom, 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 and then ride on out. So I met the new guy this week or whatever, and he seems super, super nice. But um, because Alan has been a little overwhelmed, he hasn't kind of given me the attention that I'm used to, which I don't really complain. I'm all about the curb appeal. Just make sure I don't get a sign in my yard from the city telling me to cut my grass and I'm good. But this new guy came. Not only did he cut the grass front and back as expected, but I had some tree limbs that fell in my backyard because even though I wasn't hit by the tornado, um, because of the storm, I had a lot of limbs fall off my trees from the wind. Anyway, crunched up all those tree limbs, got them off of my deck. I had some leaves that had been on my deck for like ever since the winter. I guess they were like practically stuck to the desk, to the deck, took the blower, blew, I mean, basically cleaned my whole deck or whatever. So I was like, super cool. He's a keeper. And um, he did all that for the same price that I paid Alan just to cut the grass. So whoo, whoo. Um, so that's one example. Needless to say, like I said, he's a keeper. A second example of overpromise and under deliver, I'm sorry, under deliver and over promise <laughs> is with my, um, well, I just had the example in my head. It's just that fast I forgot it. Anyway, the second example of under promise under promise over deliver oh my client okay you remember I did a video not too long ago where I told you that my client gifted me a hundred twenty five dollar pair of Rothy's if you're not familiar with Rothy's these are shoes that have been seen worn by Miss Megan Markle um, the Duchess of something or other but we all know who she is now um, and then it's been seen by other celebrities as well these shoes are made the uppers are made of 100% recycled full plastic water bottles and then the soles are based on some vegan plant-based material blah 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 the eco-friendly shoes um super duper comfortable but yeah the shoes start at 125 and go up to 165. my client gifted me a pair of the 125 shoes and this was after they paid me for my services so that's another example of where um under promise over delivers Worked, and then I got referrals from her as well because she was so happy with what I did for her. And then the third example I have, this is why I'm talking to you live today from my laptop. So I've been complaining to you for like weeks that I can't go live from my laptop. Every time I do, it acts up, it's crazy, whatever. So I've been having to go to Zoom and then go live. And then you know, you got that lag, the delay. It made it difficult for me to 
get the video straight to you. It was just a whole hot mess, but I didn't know what to do. I tried everything I thought to fix the problem and nothing worked. So finally Saturday, I was like, I'm over it. I gotta get this fixed. And so I signed up for one of these online computer geek kind of things and he took over my computer. So I'm not gonna tell you what I paid because he didn't fix the problem. So even after Saturday, cause today's Wednesday, I still couldn't go live from my computer. He didn't, he did all the stuff that I'd done like clear cash cookies browser, um, disk cleanup, you know, all that stuff I'd already tried. I'm thinking you're the computer geek. Nonetheless, what he did do is because I let him take over my computer and I paid attention and I watched what he did, I was like, wait a minute, I got a master's degree in information systems. I didn't know this was available to me. So once I started playing around with my computer and um, doing some searches for like restore, like system restore, um, things like that, I found the magic key. Yay! And I fixed it myself. Luckily, I did not pay that gentleman too much. Actually, I only paid him a dollar. It was one dollar for a seven-day trial, and then after the seven days, it was forty-four dollars a month. So even though he couldn't deliver what I asked for for the one dollar, what he showed me by going through the motions of going to my computer allowed me to find a way to make it happen. Okay, don't you love that? So even though I only paid a dollar. His delivery was such that I fixed it myself, which is why I am live with you here today. All right, so how does all this translate in your business? So I mentioned my client, um, the services that she needed from me is what I'm gonna share with you. I'm developing a workshop now where I wanna work with 10 people because I want you to know why you're not getting the results you desire in your business. And these aren't just any 10 people, these are 10 working folks who are looking to create a secondary stream of income. They either already have have a network or affiliate marketing business or they're looking to start one and they need to get results if you're looking to get results in your affiliate or your network marketing business and you're a working professional or not working either doesn't have to be but you have to be in business online and try or be in business period for yourself as a home business and you are looking to get the results then I need you to go ahead and get signed up for this workshop now you may ask what's all going to be involved in this workshop well before i tell you what's involved i am putting the link in the top comment so that way you have it so i'm pasting that link there um let's see click here to chat about workshop and i can only work with 10 people because i'm just one person and anything over that it gets to be a little messy um but yeah so what are you going to learn in this no i don't want to end look i'm so used to not being able to do video i don't know what i'm doing anymore all right so let me post this in the top comment so that way you have it again remember if you're watching the replay give me a hashtag replay uh okay pin the comment so that way it's pinned to the top see this is all the stuff i couldn't do with zoom all right so what's going to happen in this workshop for you struggling network marketers out there i'm going to teach you exactly why you're not getting the results you desire in your business we're going to figure out what you know about your business that you can duplicate and share with others we're going to figure out exactly who you want to work with and who you want to talk to and how to attract these people to you instead of you chasing them down and then it's showing people how you have the solution to their problem problems even if it's not with your company yes in five short weeks I'm gonna take you off the struggle bus and I'm gonna get you to success trust me I've done it before I can do it again so with that again my name is Cecilia I'm your engineer by education your home business owner by desire and I hope from now going forward you always under promise over deliver give people more than what you pay for if you do more than what you're paid for eventually you'll be paid for more than what you do Hope you got tonight's message. Leave me a comment. Give me some hearts, likes, love. Um, share this out with those that you know can benefit as well. And then click the link in the pinned comment so we can talk about how to get you in this workshop to get you off the struggle bus and get you to success in your network or affiliate marketing business. That's it for Cecilia live from Facebook for the first time in weeks. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.